last little bit. Like I said, I've been I've been watching him for the 34, 35 weeks, whatever it's been. And to see the hit pieces that are coming out against him is pissing me off. And I want to get I don't want to be swearing, I don't want to be cursing, I want to keep this peaceful. Lamont told me a lot of stuff. And he told me that I can I asked him how does he want to address it? There's a lot of stuff that you guys probably don't know about Lamont, but he told me pretty much everything and he told me I can say whatever I want. I don't want to say this because this is his laundry, but I'm going to do it because of those idiots over there with the signs who click on friggin' stuff on Facebook and watch a little hit piece on someone and cheer it. It's bullshit. Lamont was sexually abused as a kid. I don't know who, who knows that. And it, you know, for, for me to be up here telling you that is not my place. But Lamont gave me permission to do that. He was sexually abused as a kid and it carried over into his adulthood dealing with it. He dealt, had to deal with that emotionally. He reached out to several support groups. He was in and out of all different support groups trying to come to terms with what happened to him and how to deal with it. And he went on many different journeys and ventures in his life trying to deal with it. Many support groups. Now I can't speak to all the support groups that he was part of, but he told me a lot about them. And in my heart, they're all good. That hit piece that was put out was about a play or something that was done and it was called Jesus Meets a Gay Man. And in the middle of that, they were talking about forgiveness. And Lamont was talking about the forgiveness that he has to do to the perpetrator that sexually abused him. And that's how it all ties in. So for people to turn around and say that he was endorsing pedophilia is bullshit. I grew up in, in Newfoundland and the Catholic Church around me, I have so many friends that were abused by the Catholic Church. Now I'm not against religion. I'm not against you know, most priests and stuff like that, but it happened, it exists, and I seen it. And I heard Lamont speak about it in that hit piece and saying that in the community it becomes normalized. You become to know that that priest is a pedophile and your parents may tell you to stay away from him. Now you don't even know why as a kid, but you know that there's something wrong. I grew up watching that go on around me. The parish priest be new, moved to another parish because something was happening and they didn't want it to get exposed. That's the type of thing Lamont was talking about. And he was talking about what would Jesus do? And he was talking about forgiveness. That's all I'm going to say about it. You guys want to try and believe that he's a pedophile? Go, go check out the full clip. And as you check it out, think about what I told you. This man's put himself out here for 34 to 35 weeks. And I'm telling this story. I shouldn't have to do this. So knock it off. Okay, guys, we got a lady up here right now, Marilyn Horner. She's really nervous. Do you want me or Jack? You want